All right, so now we got the cylinders prepped. The last things we need to do to this engine before we do a really good cleaning on it is I need to clean all the, the mating surfaces that have gasket left on them. Oil pan, time and chain, head gasket area, here. And I also need to try and use some heat and something to get these rear oil plugs out. I really want to get those out so I can brush all the way through the block. Ugh, finally done cleaning the block and the crank anyway. So got, got the block in here, I've got the crank sitting in there. Uh, these are the engine brushes I use. I got them from Summit or Amazon. Uh, I'm not certain, but uh, just pretty much that and a bunch of uh, Zip purple industrial degreaser. A lot of degreaser. I went ahead and put some plastic gauge on this center main bearing here. Just to see, oh, that's Canadian. Just to see what we had for oil clearance. Um, looks like it's a little less than three thou. I think the spec is uh, two and a half thou, so we're in that ballpark. We're gonna run a 15, 40, or a 20, 50 oil anyway, so a little bit loose is just fine. It's better to be loose than tight for oil clearance. Yeah. I'm not going to check any of the others. I'm gonna clean that off. I'm gonna pull the crank out and put some assembly lube all over it, and we'll put a little dab of silicone on our seals here and put a little additional silicone here to help the rear cap seal. So I got in a hurry and made a little boo-boo. See this main cap right here? Looks good on this side. Eh, not so much over here. I wasn't paying attention to the orientation of the cap. I had it spun around, went to tightening the bolts down and crack. So I went, went ahead and took a uh, chisel and a hammer, chucked this thing up in the vise and just went ahead and knocked that off. So it's gonna be a three bolt main. Well, we'll call it a three and a half bolt on that main cap. It is what it is. It'll run. Probably. Um, I mean, you can't buy another cap and just throw it on there. Uh, if you put another cap on there, you go to the machine shop to have it line honed. So we're not going to the machine shop. We're going racing. Now, don't think I'm suggesting any of you do this. This is hack level 10. But I'm short on time, and I'm just going to have to run it. I'm not worried about it from a clamping force standpoint, but this does register the cap. Uh, centered on the block. So what I did was tighten these down just finger tight and then I whacked it with a dead blow hammer several times to push it this way and kept doing that until I, I got it torqued down and uh, it spins moderately freely so we're gonna run it and hope for the best. Just calm down a minute it's not that bad. Ish. And I honestly think I could run it just like it is but my OCD's got the better. Obviously, I think that's probably good enough. But I've got some time, so I'm gonna do a little experimenting. And I had to hit it with a file to make everything fit back together. And it's still not perfect, but it's good enough. This oil pan rail was the flattest surface I could find, so I put a little tape on there to protect it. I'm gonna JB weld that, sandwich it between these magnets, use this magnet to hold it perfectly in line this way, and I'm gonna let it dry. And tomorrow night, I'll file fit the end of that main cap to the block to make sure there's just a slight interference when I bolt it down. Hopefully the ear doesn't snap back off. File here. There it is. Just as much of a hack job as you would expect. Check back tomorrow and we'll make that main cap good as new or good enough. Maybe. <laughs>